Custom shop in New York City, and uh, I'm here to get my lowering springs installed. Uh, let me back up and pull in here. I got the Mopar lowering springs. I only mess with OEM products. If I'm gonna do any upgrades, that product better be OEM. And uh, let me pull it. So yeah, they do all types of, they do suspension, see these Jeeps here? They lift, lower, vinyl wrap, anything you want to do, they do it here. So anyway, this is the sponge right here. Just to show you guys. Uh, that's the part number, 770-72488 for the lowering springs. is heavy as fuck yeah they came the other day oh, look at that red interior look at that look at that look at that oh, it's those, oh, look at that looking nice bloody guts so anyway we're gonna go in here see what they talking about and I'll be right back. So I want to show you guys a before as far as the stock ride height. This is the stock ride height without the lowering springs on it. So I could do a before and after for you guys. Uh, they say the drop that the Mopar springs give you is minimal. It's about like half an inch in the front and close to an inch in the back. It's not really a, you know, it's not a big drop. It's, just, it's, sub, it's subtle. It's more for performance than it is for looks.
All right, you guys, a look at the stock ride height. specs of it. I think it's like half an inch in the front, close to an inch in the back. It's maybe less than that. But as I said before, it's more perf performance than it is for um, aesthetics. Now, I'm not trying to slam the vehicle. The Mopar spec is made mainly to you, you know, give you a little bit more performance out of it. video and look at it and rewind and look at it and fast forward and look at it. You gotta go back and forth to really, you know, be able to tell the difference. But, uh, yeah, Mopar Lauren Springs installed. And that's how she looks now. I rolled around the block to make sure no, no coals popped up, no diagnostic coals or anything. I didn't get any uh, warning lights or anything as far as the tire system, tire PTPMS, nothing. Nothing's wrong. The installation was pretty smooth and easy. Holy shit, I just noticed this. Look at this. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. I gotta ask my wife about that. She had the car yesterday. And I get it back and it's just looking all dirty, bird shit everywhere. I don't know where that happened at. Just noticed that um, when I was pulling it out the shop, they didn't do it. It was there, but I'm just saying, showing you guys. See that scratch? Brush scratches here. I'm not sure who did it. But anyway, back to the springs. As you can see, it's a simple drive. I gotta go uh, get a freaking alignment. Gotta get an alignment. It seems like it's riding straight. It doesn't feel out of whack, but I'm gonna get an alignment anyway. You're supposed to get in line after you lower your car, no matter what, to make sure everything is a okay. You don't want to find out when your tires are tore up from camber or tow that you should have gotten in line after you put in the springs. I also got them to uh, remove the Durango in the four-wheel drive emblem because you know on the back on that tailgate it has a Durango sign and the four-wheel drive sign. I had to remove that and I just left the FSRT sign, you know. I think it looks much better. It looks cleaner. In my opinion, it looks cleaner. Uh, so I removed the Durango four-wheel drive sign. I'm sorry she's looking so dirty. Thicker than these, so the, the Mopar Performance Springs, they're thicker than these, they feel 
feel sturdier than these. Even the uh, installer said that, yeah, the uh, performance springs way better quality, it's thicker, bigger and stronger and sturdier. These are the old pump stops. video I'm going to put a, uh, a, a pick up a pick picture of how I look before the Mopar springs were installed and a pick of how I look after the springs were installed and I'll have that at the end of the video so you guys can compare the first pick will be the old with the stock springs the second pick be with the Mopar springs and stuff so you guys can see for yourself if there's any noticeable difference I went to is called the custom shop in Astoria, New York. Good guys. Charge me $4.50 for the install. $4.50 straight. No tax for the installation of the lower one springs. The dealership was trying to charge me what a thousand dollars? It was crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. Alright. Take it for a quick drive. Put my seatbelt on, safety first. How y'all doing on this Saturday? It's still cool as shit out here, man. It's crazy. It's supposed to be spring. It's cold as fuck. good man it feels good it feels it feels you could feel that it has less rake i don't know how to explain it but the back you can feel that the back is lower than it was before it feels good it feels good no complaints um as far as the ride quality all these ice cream trucks they getting ready for it's cold as fuck out here. What y'all getting ready for? It ain't time yet. It's not time yet. Anyway, going over the bumps, you do feel you do feel the bumps a little bit more. If anybody tells you that you're not gonna feel a difference in ride quality, they're lying to you. You're going to feel a slight difference. You're going to feel a difference. Let me turn it this time. Wait, you know. 
you're going to feel the difference in the ride quality. So the shop is over here by the world famous, famous uh, Ravenswood houses out here in the Astoria. Ravenswood Projects, not too far from Queensbridge. Queensbridge is right down there. That's where we're about to head over to. Um, but yeah, what was I talking about? The ride quality. It's not, it's not, it's not bad. It doesn't feel... feels good it feels good it doesn't feel super stiff now let me put it in a sport having a sport this is my custom mode really I haven't custom but the uh, suspension is in the street let me put it in a sport now let me see how it feels in sport do a full review on it because you know it takes a couple of weeks for it to settle <laughs> so I'll do a full review on it after it settles and everything but yeah you definitely feel the yeah you definitely feel the difference in sport I'm not even gonna put them in track 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 was stiff as fuck with the stock suspension so I can imagine how track feels, but it's definitely a lot more uh, stiffer in sport. But handling wise, as I'm taking these turns, you feel less body roll. Oh yeah, yeah these bumps is a lot more stiffer. The wife's not gonna like that, but she'll be okay. But yeah, there's a lot less body roll. Where you going, where you going, minivan? Feels lower to the ground too. Like even though it's such a subtle uh, drop, the driving feel, the driving experience, you could tell the difference. If I feel lower to the ground, and with the back um, dropped lower than it was before, I see the hood more. Like this hood is just standing out a lot more now. It feels lower. It feels more planted. And uh, I think it's worth the purchase. If you're looking for something purely aesthetic wise with something that looks crazy drop like you're trying to slam it um get a different uh don't go for the mopar the mopars is going to give you a crazy slam drop it's going to be a subtle drop it looks nice the way it should have been from the factory and right here you got the world famous queens bridge houses Nas in them is front. Nas, Mob Deep. Yeah, let me put this back in uh, custom. Because that sport suspension is no joke. And one, these seats, these heated seats are crazy. And the uh, Jeep I had in the Charger, the heated seats got warm, but these joints, it's ridiculous. No bottoming out. It hasn't bottomed out yet. So, feels good. Feels pretty good. <clears throat> traffic. I should have went around on the other side of the PJs. Should have went on the back side. But yeah, installation took about, um, what time is it? It's one? It's one? It's one? One twenty-seven? I got there at ten. So three hours. Took about three hours. As soon as I got there, um, they took my car right in. I said, had made an appointment. I wasn't a walk-in. As soon as I got there, they took my car right in. Uh, they were fast, they were professional. 
Um, they knew what they were doing. You could tell that these guys are, you know, car enthusiasts, car lovers. They work on suspensions, springs, wraps, mainly work on Jeeps. Like, they do everything there, but uh, they knew what they were doing. And um, I was in and out. It felt good. It was good. It was a good experience. So I recommend the custom shop out here in uh, Long Island City slash Astoria. World famous Queens Bridge houses right over here. This is the south of Queens Bridge. Then you got the north side, the other side. feel it but it's not you know it's not bad it's not bad not bad at all all right y'all so that is about it about to get out of here head home get the wife we're gonna go uh we're gonna go see us, Jordan Peele's Us. See what that's all about. See if it's what it's hyped up to be. I'm a horror movie buff, I'm a scary movie enthusiast, so it takes a lot to scare me. So if it's more psychological than it is scary, eh, I may not like it. But I'm gonna go check us out. Then gotta work tomorrow about it just wanted to show you guys uh my impressions initial impressions after getting the lower springs installed and in a couple of weeks when they fully settle in i'll do a full review on the springs and give you guys my opinion on it thank you for watching um as i said at the end of this video i'm gonna have the first pick is gonna be on stock springs and then the second pick is gonna be the lowered springs then you guys could look Rewind, fast forward, compare for yourselves. All right. Take care, y'all.